Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Renee Carlson, Seattle MUA Renee on Instagram, which is kind of where people know me, I guess you could say, a little bit better. And I know that I have been promising a lot of you guys an update video to why I just kind of went MIA on social media. Those of you who noticed, noticed, and I appreciate all the love and support that I received during that time. Um, yeah, so today's video is going to be different than I've done in a while. I want to kind of discuss mental health, depression, anxiety, and kind of panic attacks, that sort of stuff, 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 stuff. So if that is triggering or bothersome to you, or you feel like it might set you back rather than forward, then please don't watch this video. I'll suggest a haul or something like I did last. And you guys can check out some of my new outfits if you don't want to hear. So I thought I should just let you guys know and let parents know. Um, yeah. <laughs> kind of discussing my background with depression and anxiety. So I'll link that below in the description box as well. I'm also going to try to start including more resource links and stuff. I want to be able to have these sit down conversations that I always tried to get in my captions on Instagram, but there's a character limit. So here I am on YouTube. So if you want to kind of know the background, just because I'm not going to put myself back in time and I'm not going to make those of you who have been with me, thank you, first of all. And second of all, you've all heard the story before. So I just kind of wanted to talk about basically the beginning of this year, 2021. Um, there was, so there was Christmas. My birthday happens to fall five days after Christmas. Thank you, mom. And there's New Year's Day. All of that this year combined with everything that 2020 was, not just for me, but for everybody in the world. I think it's safe to say that every single one of us has been impacted or had some sort of disturbance or change in our life out of the pandemic and the shit that was 2020. For me personally, 2021 has been way more challenging just personally. And I don't know if maybe I had to get to the point that I was at in order to kind of move forward and move beyond a bunch of stuff. But um, yeah, so I, consistently posted to Instagram for like five years. And I'm talking about, I would be on Instagram with my phone and my iPad, and I'd make sure that I reply back to everybody and messaged everybody back until it got a little bit out of control. And it started to kind of stress me out a little bit. Um, and just technology as a whole started to stress me out. So I kind of just disappeared. And basically after my birthday, things kind of just started to get super stressful. I couldn't handle anything. And I guess I, you could say I had like a mental breakdown, a nervous breakdown, something like that where I just 
it just threw me off and it threw me in this funk where I didn't, I didn't even look at my phone for like a month. The positive side of that is I got to spend a lot of time with my mom. We got to kind of do things like we used to do, have family dinners, you know, and just enjoy each other's company. Whatever was on TV, she loves The Voice, so we started watching a lot of that. But that part in itself has been good, but my health behind the scenes was just a mess. I don't want to get too deep into it because there is just so much and I've got to keep some of it separated from the camera, like my personal life and then my online life. And with YouTube, I've just been doing these hauls and stuff and I haven't been doing as much as these type of videos just because it's been hard for me to even sit down, to even get ready to, I just had absolutely no motivation. And, you know, I needed to step back. I needed to be able to see my life kind of from a different angle and see what I was doing and what I could change in order to kind of lead a better life. I wasn't sleeping. I was staying up just because with the pandemic, my whole schedule just got messed up. I didn't even got to the point where I didn't know what day it was because I was like, well, who fucking cares? I mean, there's all this stuff going on. I don't care about what day of the week it is. So I disappeared. And I think I didn't even look at my phone for like a month. And now I'm proud of myself. And it's just now finding that balance of what works for me and what I feel comfortable doing and what I want to do. And it's always like, I feel like I want to do so much more than I'm doing that it stresses me out. And I feel like I'm not doing enough. Therefore, I do nothing. <laughs> and uh, that started to not work out so well. So I am now trying to, I have like a sleep schedule. The dogs have more of a schedule. I am trying to plan out my content a little bit more. So if you guys could help me out with that aspect of it, let me know down below what you'd like to see more of, less of. Let me know what days of the week work best for you. I was thinking of either Tuesdays and Wednesdays and Saturdays to try to stick to an upload schedule of, you know, Tuesday and Saturday, I think is what I was playing around with. Then I can edit everything else during the week and still have time for myself. And that's the biggest thing that I wanted to convey is you need to listen to your body and these times and your head. And if you feel like you're getting overwhelmed or worked up about something, it might be time to take a step back and just breathe, step away from it. And that is so hard for me to do, but you know, I'm working on it and I have you guys to thank. Um, I'm still, you know, struggling with planning my content and getting back into somewhat of a routine. So I appreciate your patience and you guys have just been there for me. And it's just been nice to see all kinds of comments of, you know, take as much time as you need, focus on yourself because you can't take care of anyone else and you can't have like 
friendships and relationships and everything it takes to. So when that panic attack occurred, I couldn't handle anything. And I had all these feelings inside, but yet I couldn't communicate them to anyone. I just, I felt bad. And then I felt like, well, there's nothing I can do right now because then I got really sick. <laughs> and that, I don't know if that was a good thing or a bad thing because it took me out of uh, panic attacks and got me into sickness. So then I went, I'm not laughing because it's funny, but it's just, it's just crazy. So I've been to Over Lake ER, which is Bellevue, Washington, one of the top hospitals in, I'd say the Puget Sound area. I went to the ER there and was admitted twice. And then I went to Swedish ER by ambulance and was admitted there. And all three visits were this year, 2021, and not a single place could identify the source of why I was getting sick. I couldn't eat anything or even drink a sip of water. Anything that I put in my body immediately came out of different places on my body. I'll just say that. I was the sickest I have ever been. I was just throwing up all the time. Anything I ate, like a piece of bread, would just make me puke. So I went back to the ER again, and um, they just said that it was some sort of bug. We know it wasn't COVID. I've had two negative COVID tests this year because they tested me twice. And every disease or every influenza or sickness or anything like that, everything came back negative. So they have no idea why I was getting so sick. So I feel a lot better. Obviously, I'm back. I'm recording. I have a shirt on and jeans. Like, I have on jeans. But there's like a, a weight lifted off of me, but then there's also this lingering effect of uh, nobody could really tell me what it was that I was getting sick from, and I'm already in a high risk category. I have really weak kidneys, but I had no infection. So they couldn't figure out the source and just sent me home with anti-nausea pills and said, you just have some sort of bug and your body's basically going to have to go through this for a while until you get better. So that's what I did. <laughs> and eventually, little by little, I started to feel better. I can hold down solid foods now. So yeah, I just wanted to finally tell you guys, I feel like I've been talking about why I disappeared and that I disappeared, but I haven't really explained to you guys why, and it might help someone else out. But my biggest takeaway from the whole experience is everybody needs a little organization in their life so that you can feel like you contributed because during the day if you just sit there and watch tv or do whatever you're not gonna feel like you don't satisfy any of your own needs or passions or anything like that so I definitely make sure that you make time for that and make time for yourself and do whatever it is off electronics, like play board games with your family or, you know, walk your dogs or just do something that is better for your health and well-being. And then it's just finding that online balance. I hope 
this was helpful. I hope that I um, answered some of your questions in some sort of way. I do want to have more sit down discussions like this. I can be more open with my struggles with depression, anxiety. I have some good like friend or ex friend stories. I would never mention anybody's name or anything like that, but just more life experiences. So if you guys have any recommendations or you want to share your own, then feel free to do that below. Please subscribe. It really helps me out and like this video if you liked this format of just having me sit down and not have makeup. I feel like I need a different background, so I'm going to work on that a little bit for you guys <laughs> because it is the same. I will have this look up on my Instagram for you guys probably, you know, in like two days the way I'm going. <laughs> But I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Your support really does mean the world to me. And I hope this was helpful for someone or entertaining. I love you guys. I will see you in my next video.